be clear about that. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. No. Boss could be using those Pickford payouts to black farmers under the Obama administration. Of course, they were discriminated against by the USDA. Uh, each show were given $50,000. It was awarded to over 33,000 farmers or their heirs. So if we apply that same model right now to every black American and uh, people of multicultural who say they have black descendants, then we're talking about $2.5 trillion. Joining me now to debate, Fox News contributor DeRoy Murdoch and hashtag Roland Martin, unfiltered host Roland Martin. Roland, let me start with you. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of surprised that three Democratic candidates have jumped on board with this as a central issue already. What do you make of it? Well, first, we make the mistake by trying to automatically jump to the cost as to understanding why you're even having the conversation. When you talk about this year commemorating the 400th anniversary of 20 odd Africans arriving in Virginia in 1619, you have to look at American history to understand uh, that it goes back to uh, General Sherman and Special Order Field 15, 40 acres and a mule that was rescinded uh, by after Lincoln was killed. Uh, there was an effort to d distribute land to freed slaves that was never passed by Congress. This nation uh, it has always uh, used the free labor of African Americans to build the country, but has never dealt with the reality of preventing black folks being a part of the economic system in this country. Those are facts. Right. Well, here's a fact. Slavery ended 154 years ago. It's been a long, long time since we had slavery in this country. And you have people who've come to this country, uh, let's say the great wave of, of immigrants who came around 1890, 1900. Uh, I think they're going to be really shocked and disgusted if this thing goes through. And you have people who may have come from Poland or Russia or Ireland, and they suddenly have got to pay uh, money to the, ans uh, to, to the progeny of people who have not been enslaved for 150 odd years. Uh, and you have people like my family. I'm black, but my family came to the United States in 1960. My parents are from Costa Rica. Do I get a check? We had no no role in American what, slavery. What, what, Charles, what do you say? This what is going to be the most divisive. One second, this one second, brother. I'll let you in, but I do want to ask, what do you say to the folks who says just wasn't when slavery ended, though? The Jim Crow laws. There and, you go. And, 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 and all the things that came after that that stopped black people from being able to enter into the U.S. economy like everyone else. Uh, I think a lot of the uh, what uh, we did to address that involved things like uh, the Great Society, many of these public assistance programs. Most You're of those wrong. were launched right about the same time as the 64 Civil Rights Act, and many of those things were done in a sense of trying to get people sort of uh, in a better state You're economically. Wrong. Charles, Roland, are, are, you, are you concerned, Roland, about, though, what DeRoy said, potential pushback from uh, white folks in America saying, hey, I never owned a slave, and I don't know anyone who's ever been a slave. Well, again, though, this is the problem when you have American history, and, and look, uh, the DeRoy actually said it, that he doesn't even fully understand American history. The Great Compromise of 1877 ushered in Jim Crow. You had 92 years of Jim Crow. You talked about the Which Pickford. Ended, uh, not, not, actually, actually, it, actually, it did not end. L allow me, this book, Dr. King, Where Do We Go From Here, Chaos or Community, where he talked about the issue, the practical the political cost of change for the nation up to this point has been cheap. He talked in this book where he talked about how uh, even in 1967, 90% of the laws that were passed had not even been implemented. Here's the issue you're dealing with, Charles. You talk about the Pittsburgh decision, the USDA discriminating against African Americans. The federal government's own housing policies, it was law discriminating against African Americans. The Fair Housing Act wasn't even passed until 1967. 68, only because King got killed. So forget, you could talk about slavery. There are African Americans today who were impacted by federal housing right. laws, and we know most wealth in America is a result of inheritance and also through housing. And so, DeRoy, do you deny that reality? Look, it's been 51 years since the 68 Fair Housing Act. Okay, that's half a century. You want total, uh, t incredible acrimony and, and racial strife and tension like we've never seen before. You make white folks who had nothing to do with slavery give money to black folks. You many, keep many, saying many slavery, but you can't ignore slavery, Jim Crow. Including people, uh, I'm, I'm somewhat prosperous, as is Charles. Do we get checks as well? Do we give a you check can't to Ken Chenault, who is Crow. the CEO of American Express? He doesn't need that money. I think we should put our efforts so, our money into school choice, into things that help little poor black kids learn and get prepared so they can succeed in our society. Charles,
Chaos formula for total racial chaos right. and mayhem, right. Charles, which I think this is, is the mistake. awful, destructive uh, policy idea that last war abolished any speak, kind of civil speak, civility Speaking of destructive, you still have the people who built Black Wall Street in Tulsa, where the Oklahoma's apologized, but it's not paid for the damage. You look at Rosewood in Florida. We have facts where you have African Americans. Well, do you think every, every, every black, black person, person in second, America would be one entitled second, to bail? One second. Here's the piece. In order for you to under, before you get to the cost, you need to study what the issue is first to understand that. And unfortunately, right. America has denied these realities. Do you think every black person people, in America should get get get, a, get get paid? What needs to happen is you, as Castro said, supporting a, a bill that John Conyers submitted for a number of years. You need to study the issue first before you get to that. Okay. You can't deal with D unless you deal with A. Yeah, you're pushing, oh, you're pushing the, collective guilt. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing history. Social division. Shame on I'm pushing. I'm Shame pushing on history. You. And you Shame don't know like black history. This country you piece. don't even know American history. Yeah, I, I suggest American you history. actually learn. study American history. Read American history. I and suggest you learn, learn more. Future of let's, total mayhem, which I do not want to see. Let's, learn let's leave it there. More. Disgusting idea. Passion on both Charles, sides. Charles, read Alex. this book. I'll read it. Dr. DeRoy, King, where Rowan. do we go from here? You too, DeRoy. Thank you both very much. But Ron, we also got to explain to black people, all these, all these people out here that I love it when they, 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 they love playing this clip where Kamala says, I'm not going to do anything that's specifically for black people because they can't. You have to, you, you literally cannot pass. Like when somebody says, well, you know, this bill was passed for the gay. I, somebody on YouTube said that. First of all, you can pass a bill when you say LGBT, that means black gay, white gay, Asian gay, Latino gay, exactly. that means gay, exactly. okay? Yeah. That means gay. Yeah. You cannot pass a race-specific bill. All y'all folks will be saying all this nonsense because y'all listen to too many other black people who yap their mouth on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube who will not tell you what the federal law is, how the Supreme Court has already ruled. Which is why I which is why policymakers have to craft language that actually goes to affected group or disaffected group at disproportionately us. So perfect example. always look better than black people so equality is a sin america has never been equitable america will never be equitable there has never been a day in the history of this nation there has never been a single day in the history of this nation where black people were treated fairly and equally you can't give me a day if you know of a day give me a goddamn day give me the day name a day give me a day where on that one day for one hour two hours six hours 12 hours, 18 hours, give me a date where on that day, white folks treated black folks equally for an hour. You can't give me a minute. You can't give me a second. They are always scheming on how to disadvantage black folks even more than they already have disadvantaged us. Did you hear what I just said?